All right, all right, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we go. This is my top 10 for single coil RTAs. Um, this list I'm hitting right here is primarily RDL, high end. And starting off, number 10, here we have the Aviator by uh, Sturm, also called Amber Mods, with uh, some very fine stains and stuff on there. Sorry about that. This thing is an, a nice little RDL dream. Um, interesting airflow here. Oh, what do you know? Oh, well, this is actually two two hole on that side. And then a nice port on there, and then you can run it with just one side. If you whoop, 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 spin the ring around like that, you know. Um, this is the the RT I was saying opens up uh, the build deck. You get to it in the same way that you would get to the Har or the Integra or even the nitrous RTA. There's a lot of um, tanks that use this system. It's got juice flow control, single O-ring. It's very nice, very nice draw, very nice flavor. Um, it's just dead easy to, I mean, this top cap is so simple for filling. You know, it's great. Been around for a good bit. Yeah. The uh, the aviator. Number 10. <clears throat> so, my next up here is from, where did I put it? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from EVL, Evil. <laughs> um, this is made in the UK. Now this is not the drip tip that it comes with. It actually doesn't come with a drip tip. Um, this is called the, the Reaper V3. Never had the one and two, but I remember when this came out and I always wanted one, I finally got one. Uh, I think as stock, it came with just a two milliliter uh, Ultum tank. So you actually would have to get a polycarbonate or yeah I think it's just you know polycarbonate clear tank separate and you can get them in like three milliliter uh, five seven so and then this is the other interesting thing the uh, this <laughs> this is just on here loose at all times but this is what changes the airflow it's just one airflow one side and uh, where's my hand and it has different sizes going around. They have a DL version <clears throat> and an MTL version. This is the DL version. This is a very simple RTA. It's actually top fill. Um, it technically has like a juice flow control though, but it's, it's in a very simple uh, primitive kind of way. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Can I get this off? You should probably use a mod if you want to start playing around with this kind of thing. But, um, yeah, these are great. I mean, they also did the Evil Alien, the, uh, <clears throat> the, what's it called, um, the dot version, the dot spot. Uh, the Wraith is another RTA that came after this. So, I mean, as you can see, it's a very simple, um, you know, old school style here. But uh, this actually, if you can see that little peak piece, that actually spins and clo opens and closes your, your juice flow, basically. Um, <clears throat> I think I have, yeah, here's what came afterward. The Wraith. And 
I actually like the Reaper V3 better. Um, but yeah. Anyhow, so the Reaper V3, it's, I don't know what it is. It's just the draw. It, it um, It's just the right amount of airflow for me and just the right amount of flavor. It's just, and it's a classy looking RTA. I, I really like it. Um, doesn't really get talked about much anymore, um, but I think it's great. Okay, so that is number nine. Uh, I was just using, here it is, number eight. This is the Golden Greek Casperdina. I did a review on this. Um, this actually just came out this year, whereas like the Reaper V3, I think that's from like 2019 or 2020 even. So this has been out, uh, this only just came out, what, 2022. So, um, you just sc screw to fill. I mean, you can see the ports right there. They open. It's got juice flow control. There's a ton of options you could do with this. Kind of like how I was doing with the Imperia. Like, you don't pull when it's completely closed. You pull to take it off just as you start opening it. And this actually comes off as well. And you can actually get, cut these out and do, uh, geez, my focus is all over. They make little cutouts of this so you can get side airflow uh, and bottom airflow. So love that it's Phillips head screws. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. One O-ring, nice big old green O-ring. Uh, juice flow control works great. I mean, it it comes as a, as a two milliliter tank, so you know not much juice capacity, but you get these extensions for it, and um, you can just keep stacking them. I think you can get up to like eight milliliters. So this is at four milliliters right here, and it's still very short. So super classy, very polished. They got them in black. They got them in uh, a matte. Uh, gray, silver, whatever, and they're not that ex they weren't that expensive. They were like one sixty. I think the Reaper was like one thirty, but you know that's a uh, UK money, so it ends up being a little more. Anyhow, yada yada. I forget about the the Avatar. So the Avatar, the successor to that was the Aviator. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the Aviator. Okay, next up, sorry you're just looking at nothingness, bear with me here, oh Jesus, here we go, this, this guy, yeah, this is the Vapeware Mods, VWM, Vapeware Mods, uh, Integra, the Integra is... Lovely, lovely RTA. A tighter RDL kind of draw. Oh, sorry about the focus in and out. Um, it just works well, man. A lot of screwing here to get this cap off. But, um, you know, kind of simple, you know, that simple top cap like a, a steam tuner's design would be, you know. Um, I showed this off quite a bit in the Imperia video, so I won't take up too much of your time, but great draw, great flavor, classic design, very classy. Yeah. Alright, next up is the good old Skila. Where are you, Skila? Here we go. I love this thing. Now, it didn't get much popularity because of the whole conflict Jay Hayes had with Vicious Ant. This is by Vicious Ant. Um, he had a conf Jay Hayes had a conflict with them with the whole Rain RTA thing, and 
<clears throat> a lot of people kind of like boycotted it and vicious and i mean they had a time of popularity but i mean look at these airflow combinations you could do and they're actually like all very different when you do them like this and like look at that i mean and it's different on each side it, it, it's really an awesome uh rta sorry we're out of focus you just have to be it's got juice flow control um it's gravity fed Look how simple, another simple top cap, that screws right off and bada bing. You just gotta be weary of uh, how you take it off and on. Watch how at the base, it just starts opening up here. Voila, and that's the inside. You see three holes? It's a low build deck. I mean, like, it's down there. Um, but, you know, that's your your coil jig, you know, works as your juice flow ports, um, just like the Integra and the Imperia. It's a great, it's a little tight in there, but, oh my God. For RDL, the, the, I love this. I mean, it's just such an underrated one. There's your, um, your juice flow ports. I mean, your juice flow control. Um, yeah, if you can see what the hell's going on. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think these were like 150 when they came out. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just never hear people talk about them all that much. I, uh, I really like it. Ain't in the Philippines. All right. So, moving right along. Next up, we have a very special RTA, if I can find it, even though I just had it. Here it is. We have the Har which is apparently a Scottish fog over a body of water. Like, I don't know, the London River? I don't know what the hell it is, but yeah. Um, this also does uh, a ton of airflow options. You know, God, why don't I, it's a stiff ring right now, but. I'll just show it to you this way. So look, that would be your MTO hole. Um, you would have one side three hold like this, or when it's in this configuration, it's on both sides. There's these little dots on there to let you know if you're, uh, where is it at? Like there's one of the dots up there. So right now the, the juice flow <clears throat> control is closed when it, there's another dot lined up at the bottom of it, that's when it's open. A lot of threads on here to get it off and on. That's like my only little con, and maybe if the, the <clears throat> excuse me, if the window to see your juice level was actually a little lower, that might be better than it kind of in the middle where it is now. Um, Flavor's great. I mean, it wicks great. It's a perfect draw, no matter what configuration you have it in. And uh, it's got broccoli on it. And it's just a classic uh, RTA. It's a 22 milliliter, or 22 millimeter, uh, 4 milliliter, I believe. They got other, you know, configurations for it. This is just the stock look. And, um, yeah, I mean, I love it. You need a lot of cotton for it. That's because it is, uh, you know, gravity fed wicking. <clears throat> so you do need a lot of cotton on that one. But, uh, when you get it right, you get it right. It's very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, next on up. 
ESG eSmoke Guru. So this is, I put this at number four. I've always said this was my number three, but today I'm putting it at four. I just recently decided to change my mind on something. So on the, this is the same RTA. This came out a long time ago. Um, so on the left would be the, the sky drop, like that small kit. And this is like an aftermarket tank uh, for extra juice capacity. It's normally straight. This is what it looks like stock in the stock configuration. And uh, these are just really, really nice. Um, classic design. I love the, it's like a little garage door. The way this juice flow control works, you, um, hold on. Yeah, I actually loosen up the ring a little bit and then you spin this top part. Oh, it's a little tight right now, but, and it works like a little garage door. You see the juice flow control closing? Got number 526. See that juice flow control closing? Anyhow, bottom you just screw off. They got different inserts for it. So I got like the, oh, it's a two hold one. I have a three hold one as well. It's not a huge build deck or nothing, but you know, it's kind of like the Skyline R, it's still both posts on the same side. Um, yeah, it's a classic RTA. Uh, from, I'm pretty sure it still holds a high value. I mean, I would say like the uh, Imperia, this, uh, Jenna, and uh, probably like, and then the Narva, they're probably the most valued RTAs, I, I would think. Um, but yeah, I, I don't even know when this came out. 2015? Could be much later. It could be 2018 for all I know. I, I don't know. Anyhow, this could last forever. So, next on up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to be quick, but it, it's just tough. I'm, you know, I'm looking at the time right now like, damn. And this focus is killing me. All right, so I'm gonna take it out of here because you can't even see what the hell's going on. This is the Atmazoo tripod V2. Um, see, I always used to put the Skyline ahead of the tripod, but for, you know, a number of years, hold on. Here we go. A number of years, I was used to using this. The uh, the regular tripod, the OG tripod, with matching those damn arrows and stuff like that. Pain in the ass thing, you know? Sure was, here's the DLC version. Anyhow, here is the redesigned Amazing tripod too. It's just convenient. That's a Dwar DL drip tip on top. I've said that plenty of times in the past. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it can just do so much. This is the extension on here. This tank, you'd have to buy that separately. Um, this is the DL kit. I mean, I've, you know, you have so many options. It just has so many friggin' options uh, of airflow. I mean, you can do. I think open if you take everything out. I think it's five, five mil draw or five, yeah five millimeter draw, down to what a point eight or a point nine and and literally everything in between. I mean, it's just so convenient. And now that the funk the tolerance you know the the actual functionality of it is so much easier now. It's just that much better to me. Um, all sorts of chimney reducer options, chamber reducers. You know, it, it's really well thought out. I, I didn't like it all that much when I first got it. 
because I thought it felt a little too light almost, a little cheaper metal. But I mean, the, the performance of it is just so damn good. It's just so convenient that, uh, and style, you know, it's just classy. I really can't fault it. I, I adore this thing. I, it's probably my most used RTA in the last year. That's why I kind of changed my ranking as of recently because it's really stepped up a lot for me. So here we go, here we go. I'm on to my last two. Oh, I don't want to do that one first. I want to do this one. Oh, shit. Wherever the hell it went. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I was going to say... <clears throat> I changed this ranking, too. Here it is. Number two. <gasps> yeah, I know. I said this is my favorite RTA of all time. What of it? Well, I'm putting it at number two now. Because the motherfuckers kicked me out of the group. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Somebody somebody did. But I, I doubt it has anything to do with the actual you know, people behind this company. But anyhow, I considered this my favorite RTA for the longest time, and it still kinda is. Um, I did a review on it uh, last month or whatever. Great draw, great flavor, just extremely well made. And this one doesn't taste like, you know, old citrus juice or whatever kind of juice that I can't get out of the thing. This one tastes fine. It's just doesn't have a seal of approval. So um, that is my number two. And here is my undisputed number one. Typhoon. Typhoon Lagoon. The Typhoon, Typhoon, German GT3 with the steam tuners uh, cap. So I love this RTA. It's got the perfect draw, um, great wicking. You know. It, <clears throat> it, it, it's it's similar to a, a lot of the other favorites of mine. You know, when you have these three holes, actually, it, it, there's multiple options. I mean, and they're even multiple sizes, these holes on the sides. So it's like bigger and then they get smaller. You see how that works? Um, yeah, it's, it's just... It does a lot of different things. Anyhow... Uh, great juice flow control. All you got to do is twist the uh, the drip tip. Sorry, you see now it's open. Just by twisting the drip tip, very convenient. This is like a PMMA tank or whatever. Um, now this screw on the bottom. Here's another couple versions. So like this is what it originally looked like. This is actually the stock uh, Typhoon GT3, and as you can see, it's rather large. I mean, it's downright big. Here's another GT3. Um, and you can just see how much smaller it is like that, so. Yeah, anyhow, um, <clears throat> and that's a lot of Typhoon's products. Um, you could say the same thing about, like, well, here it is next to the GT5. See, actually, it's taller than the GT5, if you can believe that. Um, where's the other one? Oh, shit. All right, here we go. Um... Now, check these two out. Here's your... Now, these are good RTAs, but they're they're DL, and I'll talk about these later. Um, anyhow, so on the left, this is the stock 
uh, GT4. Uh, and this came in a couple iterations, styling with this cages or whatever. And then here is the GT4S. Now this one is actually a 25 millimeter. Uh, the GT4S is a 23 uh, millimeter. And it's the same is true for the GT3s as well. That tall one is, uh, and let's stack these up next to each other, the GT4 and the GT5. That's taller. So yeah, as tall as I always think this GT5 is, it's actually shorter than the other two. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, basically the older ones are 25 millimeter tanks. And if it has an S, it's a, it's a 23 millimeter tank so it's kind of interesting um, but you know there's it's just a German thing you know here's some other tall tanks so uh, vapor giant here's the uh, the K15 squared you know it's just a German thing to do uh, yeah so that's my favorite for single coil RTAs, um, you know, in that styling that I like, uh, RDL. Um, I will quickly mention just a couple honorable mention ones that I would have loved to put in this ranking, but I really just didn't see a spot for them. Uh, in any capacity, it just, they weren't gonna fit. So, <clears throat> oh, mother of God here. So, on the left is the Whisper. The Whisper is friggin' awesome. Uh, nobody ever talks about it for some reason. This has a lot of the same features that I like. Of course, the, air, the airflow is closed. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's got a lot of similarities to all the other RTAs that I like. The HAR and, you know. That line, that's for your juice flow control to know when it ma it's matched up. Um, you know, airflow both sides, three slit, that whole thing. Um, here's the Cloud V2. This is great. Uh, came out, seemed popular, then it kind of disappeared. Also has that kind of airflow where you can do like MTL, you could do uh, a two hold one, a big slit. You know, it just has a lot of options. Um, Am I screwing the wrong thing? Yeah. Taking the friggin' top cap or the tank section off. Jeez. Alright, here is the S tank. The stank. <laughs> Look how small this thing is. Hold on. Sorry. Look how small it is. It's tiny. Again, b multiple holes each side. Um, and then, like, Oh, I can't even get this attached right now. Here's the Scraper Rise. Um, this is nice too. This is a nice RTA for sure. But I mean, for size comparison, look how short it is. And I think it's actually a three milliliter tank. You would think it's a two. Um, that extra milliliter um, is very nice for capacity. Hold on, I'll show you the build deck. Because this doesn't get shown very often. Whoops. This is very cool, this thing. Look how low the airflow sits. Comes in to the side. And then this comes around. It's so cool. Um, I've seen this a lot in the... Uh, high-end vape show and that was it 